Well, this spring break, maybe you'll have time to enjoy a good book. Brian Uecker from the Book Nook and Java Shop is here to share some favorite books for the month of April. You always have such great selections for us. You know, now well, some you. people have got some extra time, maybe looking for something a little outside the box. So what do you have when it comes to adult fiction? Our book club book, adult fiction, will take a lot of time. It's a pretty thick book, <laughs> 400 <laughs> some pages. Uh, but it's The Nightingale. It's been on the bestseller list for quite a while. And most, uh, you know, memorials for World War II are all about men, but mm -hmm. women really played a big role in World War II. And this is about two sisters in occupied France. One hid uh, Jewish children in a convent and the other was in part of the resistance and she uh, led people through a trail through the Pyrenees Mountains. And so it's a story about the two sisters wow. and all the work they did for World War II. It's fiction, but they, it's right, based on but based true on history. Characters. I always like those ones that sort of, yeah. you know, weave the two together because you feel like you're learning a lot yeah. when you're reading as well. Yeah. And sometimes so. that helps to keep you like interested in that book. And it's a very riveting book. I mean, yeah. it's a page turner, so it's good. And then, of course, you always bring a really good uh, non-fiction uh, book. This one, a little bit of a self-help. Yeah, it has the power to change your life. <laughs> and <laughs> his whole theory is instead of you know setting goals, just change the systems by which you're living. And most of us, most of the actions we take every day are based on habit. Mm. And so you know, he, that's a very true statement. Yeah, I, think. I mean, yeah. you just do things automatically without thinking and it really dissects habits into four stages and once you d are able to dissect a habit into four stages you can easily change it by starting good habits and getting rid of bad habits. Mm. To apply so. it to just about any part of your life really, whether yeah. it's financial or weight exactly. loss. Exactly, it's all built on you know doing something consistently mm -hmm. over time is where you get the results. It's a good one to pick for uh, over spring break because maybe yeah. you can start to implement some of those things. Absolutely. And get start get, fresh when get you... Get your beach body ready. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I could use a little help with that, I think. Um, all right, and then you also have some poetry. April's Poetry Month. Yeah, it is. And this is a local poet. She teaches at uh, Grand Rapids Community College, Katie Kalitz, and she's going to be coming out and doing a reading sometime. I think it's the 11th, maybe. Check our website. What style uh, of poetry does she do? She, it's called Quiet Woman, and there's a, a bunch of different p poems in there based on perspectives from women. So you got children, you got widows, you got grandmothers, you got mothers, and so it's a little uh, different perspectives from all of all of that. It'd be interesting to hear her do a reading from her own book because then you get to hear actually what her inflection and her exactly. intonation was when she was writing the poem and that always yeah. puts a different perspective on it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So we're looking forward to that. Can't forget the uh, the young readers out there. Yeah, Dear Evan Hansen is actually a Broadway musical right now and this is a book that reads like a play. It's got all the characters and their lines and even the songs are all italicized. So you get the gist of the story. Um, just without the music, <laughs> but it's a it, it it's a very good uh, read. It's um, a kid that is writing to his therapist tells him he needs to write himself a letter in the morning and say, "Dear Evan Hansen, you're going to have a wonderful day, and this is why." And so it kind of sets the mood for it. And then one day he wrote, "Dear Evan Hansen, this is not going to be a very good day, and this is because." <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> and it got confused. Uh, one of the bullies picked it up, and it got confused as his suicide letter <gasps> because he committed suicide. Oh. And so it okay. it's a play off all that. So it's it's very good. Yeah, a good yeah. read. And yeah. then, of course, something for the youngest ones. Yeah, and this is a local book, too. I think she's on the east side of the state. Um, it's how to be A to Z, and so every letter has a way to be. So affectionate is for A, and benevolent is for B. And, and those are kind of big words for kids. Yeah, benevolent. wonderful illustrations, too, where you were telling me a little bit about the, those who illustrate this yeah, book. Yeah, there's two illustrators, and they were both in accidents. One had a brain injury, and there's a... Uh, organization in Detroit called True and they are both in there in rehab but they they hire these folks to do illustrations and marketing and I just I love the little last page of the book because it's so true about everything it says the end or is it the beginning an end is a stop to one thing but is also the opportunity to start another thing so go on get started on something <laughs> I like Do it. Something. Yeah, it's a fun, positive little book. Well, Stay thank you active. so much for yeah, joining welcome. us and bringing us all the books that you always have wonderful choices for us. Of course, we have all the reviews and summaries for these books on our website, 13onyourside.com. We'll be right back.